In this pivot video, we're gonna do a little bit of an introduction to the float switches and how they connect and what the voltages should be, that kind of thing. And then there'll, there'll be a part two of this video where we're gonna talk more about the float switch logic. And that float switch logic is, is important because it's very different with the Pivot and Pivot Pro versus older panels that you may have used. All right, so let's talk about how these the float switches connect and the basic idea. Um, you've got three positions on the terminal board here. You have stop, lead, lag, and high. And just by default, the way it's gonna be shipped from the factory, any, def any um, duplex panel is gonna have a red jumper. Might be hard to see, but there's a red wire jumper here that jumpers the lag float to the high float. And that way you really only need three float switches. If you can see three individual wires here, or pairs of wires landing on this board, you've got a stop, a lead, and then we've got the third float connected up here to the high. It doesn't matter if you connect it to the high or to the lag, it's jumpered. So it, it doesn't really make much difference which one it's connected to. Now, in the menu, by default, it, it, it says four floats when you get to that section of the menu. And the reason we did that, wh why it says four floats, if you have four floats, but these two are jumpered, it's just gonna act like a three float system anyway. But by having that four float by default, what that allows you to do is just, if you wanna actually use a four float system and you'd hook up all four here, then you pull this jumper out and that's the only thing you have to do. You wouldn't have to change anything on the menu and you, can, you now have a four float setup. So I have my, my meter here and I've got it set to voltage. And I'm just gonna show you that the, the voltage across each of those inputs should be about 120 volts. So I've got my meter on AC, do I have it on AC? No. Change it to AC. And I'm just gonna measure the lead, one in, um, terminal one and two of the lead, and it's measuring, it says 119.3 volts. So that's good. So each of those in, four inputs would have the same thing, um, a potential of 120 volts across it. Now, if you go from the first input, I, I just picked the input number one of the stop, and I go across to ground, I should get close to zero. On, on my meter here, it's reading about two volts, but close to zero, the closer to zero, the better. Um, I could also measure from terminal one of any of the four inputs to uh, my neutral, which is right here. And I also get the two volts. So that, that would be your normal voltages. Uh, and I, I provide that info uh, if you're doing any troubleshooting with float switches and you're getting different voltages than we just showed, we just discussed, then that may be a source or a, a reason for the problem you're having. You might, there may be something wired incorrectly. All right, we're gonna have the, the other video about how the float logic works.